Should you layer in bedding and food waste separately or mix it all together? We'll get to the pros and cons of both in today's episode of Coffee and Compost. My name is Steve Churchill and this is the Urban Worm Company. By now, you probably know that when you feed a worm bin, you should be feeding bedding, which breaks down slowly, along with your food waste, which is going to break down more quickly. But when you're feeding two different kinds of materials, do you mix them together? Or do you create layers of separate materials like you're making some sort of worm bin lasagna? Let's start with the lasagna method first. Pretty simple. You're just gonna put in your food waste and the bedding in your bin in separate layers. One layer of rich organic waste that breaks down fairly quickly, that's your food waste, and another that breaks down slowly, which would be your bedding, stuff like paper, cardboard, and cocoa core. The other option is to simply mix everything together in a food waste and bedding salad that you then feed to your worm bin. So why would you wanna do the lasagna method? The only benefit I can see is that you can create these rich pockets of waste that worms will swarm to all at once. You've seen YouTube videos of people showing off their worm bins that have an absolute or a warm gluttony, a, it kind of concentrated in this one little spot. It's easier to do that when you've got a concentrated layer of waste for the worms to attack. I think there are way more benefits to mixing waste together. Firstly, your bedding will absorb the excess moisture from the food waste as it breaks down. Most food waste is over 85% water, and when it gets released, when the food waste decomposes, you're going to want that bedding to sop all that moisture up and prevent it from turning your bin into a stinky mess that will be difficult to harvest. Secondly, the bedding deadens the mixture and makes it much less rich. This is a good thing. A less potent mixture is going to be less attractive to fruit flies and will be less likely to create bad odors in your bin. And because the overall moisture in your bin is more distributed, we're going to be less likely to see mites which would otherwise be attracted to the really wet layers of food waste. So what do I recommend? I think you know, and I'm about five seconds from telling you, but if you're enjoying this video and want me to make more of them, please like it, hit subscribe, and click that little bell to let you know every time we release a new video. Now back to the topic. I recommend mixing food waste and bedding during your feedings. I think it reduces the chance of bad odor, of fruit flies, and excess wetness in the bin when it's time to feed. I normally keep a bucket outside my patio door for our food scraps and coffee grounds and filters, but I first add about a six inch layer of shredded cardboard and paper to the bucket, so when that fruit and veggie waste breaks down, it starts to get absorbed by that layer of bedding underneath. When it's time to feed, I'll mix up the food waste and bedding in the bucket, and I'll often use like a narrow shovel to chop up any large chunks and I'll feed the mixed material directly to my urban worm bag. Sometimes I end up with too much dry bedding in the mix relative to the amount of food waste so I'll add water using a spray bottle on a mist setting. I especially need to do this because so much of my food waste is coffee grounds which can really dry out a bin so I have to add more water than most people. Look I admit it mixing waste is a bit more boring and you're not going to see concentrated swarms of worms but it prevents a lot of the problems people see in their worm bin. If you still want to do the lasagna method I get it. It is kind of more fun. But then I recommend adding a layer of bedding first, then a layer of food waste on top of the bedding, and then another layer of bedding on top. The bottom layer of bedding will absorb the moisture from the food waste above it, and the top layer of bedding will make it harder for fruit flies to lay their eggs on the food waste. Okay gang, worm bin maintenance and feeding are covered in our ultimate guide to vermicomposting, a massive blog post that we've got on the Urban Worm Company website. I've converted it to a PDF that you can download right now. Just click this little link over my left shoulder and you can download the 60 plus page ebook that covers everything from the basics of vermicomposting up to the opportunities and advanced commercial scale worm farming. It's an awesome resource and I've gotten great feedback about it. All right, till next time, this is Steve. Mix your bedding and food waste together, Churchill. We'll see you on the next video.